as a journalist and TV presenter, part of my job is to be watched. And there are lots of things about myself of which I'm unsure, but the colour of my skin is not one of them. There are lots of people, however, for whom this is an issue, and they're prepared to use bleaching creams to lighten their skin colour. What I want to know is, why would anyone do that? I'm going to take a hard look at the multi-million pound skin lightening industry and challenge the magazines that suggest lighter is better. Is white the right look? Go undercover to buy banned skin lightening creams? Test a big brand lightener on my skin and face up to the fair skinned obsession in my own family. This is actually my mum's worst nightmare. Oh my god! Oliver! Brown skin, you know I love your brown skin. I've grown up in Britain surrounded by people of all skin colours and have a real problem with the idea of any dark skinned person wanting to be lighter. But sometimes I get the feeling I'm in the minority amongst people from my own background. Ooh, how are you? Very well, how are you? Very well. So who better to get a deeper insight into this than from my dear friend and fellow broadcaster, Nikki Bedi, who also happens to be the lightest-skinned Indian I know. British weather, So just how Indian are you? I know you're very Indian. I know you've probably got, you're probably more Indian than me in many ways, but, but just how Indian are you? My father was Indian, Arvind Sumant Mulgaukar. I was christened Nikila Kanta Mulgaukar. You cannot be more Maharashtrian than that, but an English mother. So when you were growing up, did you feel that you were, certainly amongst the Indian side of your family, treated as a favourite because of your fair colour? But yeah, I, no, I do think we were. We all were. Well, so where has it come from? I mean, it's, how, how long has this been going on? It's not just a post-colonial hang-up, it's in a post-invaders hang-up, isn't it? So if you think that the Aryans came and invaded, fair. Then the Mughals, also fair. And then the British. So we... I mean, all along, the people who took over the country, who we would have had an inferiority complex about, were fair-skinned and possibly light-eyed. So I think it, there's a definitely a hang-up from that. So what part has the caste system got to play in all of this? I think the caste system has possibly the biggest part to play in this because if you are outside in the fields, you are dark. Therefore, menial labourers are dark. That means your standing in society is down there. If you are fair, it meant that you could afford to stay inside. You were the boss or you're the mem sub, and so that's reflected in, in the lack of tan in your skin. Marriageability? Is, is it better to be fair-skinned? Of course it is, right? Marriageability prospects shoot up because everybody puts such a premium on being fair, both for the man and the woman now. And it is a, it's a status thing. And sadly, that is the way that people still see it. When Asian families came to the UK, their distinct notions of beauty came with them. You can see it in my own family. I don't know what's going to happen? <laughs> my dad grew up in Bradford, a Yorkshireman through and through. No, I never even felt that there were different colours. Nobody ever treated me slightly differently. But my mum only came in the 1970s. First thing they see when somebody walks, oh, yeah, she's fair. And she brought with her an obsession with light skin. For Dad, it's always been a bit of a joke, especially when they go on holiday and Mum is constantly hiding away from the sun. Look, well, you're all dressed up all top to the bottom. <laughs> and you can't see your face as you're covered in muslin because you didn't want to go dark as the sun. <laughs> Which I didn't want it to get darker on my face. Well, I care you know, about you know, my skin. You know, when skin. we come back from yeah. holiday, people yeah. ask, have you been anywhere? Because he's never Mum, mum, mum never changes colour. <laughs> <laughs> the worst thing you could say to Mum is, though, Oh, you've got a nice tan looking. Mum will be like, what? <laughs> <laughs> scrub, scrub. When we went to India when I was a kid, yeah. I went in the sun. No, you went in the sun. Everybody used to joke with me, look, lucky, your daughter's getting darker. Ooh. And you were carefree. You will sit there and play in mud and play with little puppies. And I remember you got really, really, you get ta tan easily. So that I like, well, wanted to protect you and you will go, if I put cream, you'll go. No, Mum. And I said, you're getting dark. And you said, I don't care. <laughs> I want to play. What about your own family? Like, 
did they, they treat you differently? Like yeah, they did. I was uh, treated like uh, a little princess because I was the very fairer child in the family. And my youngest sister, she was a bit darker. And um, I used to wash her with lots of soap. It's not like being, I didn't like her being dark, but I used to honestly, I recall my memory, used to get hurt and that, oh God, she get picked on all the time. Did and she? Did she get picked she, on? Did she by get who? by I was just joking, oh you by you dark by, she used to get picked on by, by the <laughs> When she first come from India, yeah. your, your mum, first thing we're, we're looking for, what kind of soaps actually make you whiter? Oh, this will make you whiter. A lot of lather. <laughs> <laughs> That's no. what it would advertise. Didn't you ever want to be fairer, Dad? Me? I never realised it was our dark. <laughs> <laughs> Dad, you're brown. <laughs> for my generation, the pressure isn't just from family. It's from popular culture. In most Bollywood movies, it seems the girl who gets the guy is the one with the palest skin. So if you're not born with it, how do people get that lighter look? Time to hit the shops. Trinkets and jewels and shiny things. Bangles, bracelets. Enough distractions, down to business. If I'm to test a skin lightener, how many are there to choose from? Quite a lot. Quite a lot, yeah. Mm. <laughs> Fair and Lovely, which is quite a popular brand. It yeah. makes skin fairer, softer, healthier, and looking gorgeous. Oh, gorgeous. <laughs> You've got face whitening oh, kit. What's in yeah. it? It's like a mini facial at home. I think this is my favourite, though. Fair and Snow. <laughs> I could look English if I use Fair and Snow. Have you ever used any of this stuff? Everyone's talking about it, so I thought, why not? I'll give it a go. Thank I'll you very much. I'll take you to the till for you. Big business, isn't Even it? the guy who served me on the till wants to be lighter. How light do you want to go? A bit lighter. Just a bit lighter. A bit lighter, yeah. I'm better, yeah. People, as far as I can tell, are pretty obsessed about having a, um, a nice light complexion. And it's not just people from my own background who think lighter skin is better. The problem is much more widespread. Do you know people that use bleaching products? Yeah, you see it on the street. I've got some friends that do use that. Is it better to be lighter? Or... Yeah, it's better to be lighter, to be really? beautiful. Yeah, everybody want to look beautiful. It's better to lighten your skin. How light? Oh, who would I like to look like? In oh. terms of skin colour? Beyonce. <laughs> <laughs> Skin lightening is becoming big business in the UK. The range and availability of products is increasing all the time. You've got your fair and white. Maxi light. Fair and white products. A lightening cream. Hydrating lightening lotion. So white. Exfoliating lightening soap. Lightening body milk. White supreme. X white plus. Leg fed. Leg fed. Skin white lightening exfoliating soap. Lightening cream. Lightening milk. Skin white. Hydrating lightening lotion. And the elbow. And it's not just in Britain. The message that fair is best is all over the web. I'm looking through the internet because this is the best source to find out what's going on around the world. You just get so many, so many commercials, so many products. You're just literally bombarded with images. I'm watching some of them to see what, what messages they're pushing out there. I realised that an obstacle to obtain my dream job was my skin. Discover fair and lovely multivitamin with four essential vitamins. She's just like me. What are you doing at four? And that's the message they're pushing out to young girls. So of course they're going to want lighter skin. You could be a TV presenter and have a really successful career and creepy men could ask you out. <laughs> Let's see more. Say goodbye to dark skin. Wow. That looked like it had literally been sent down from God, didn't it? It's really sad that young women and young men will be made to feel that, that in order to be more successful and happy, they should have light skin. But not everyone is buying the skin lightening message. 